Today, we will be diagnosing several common EKG failures and implementing effective troubleshooting methods. Check the patient lead clips for any damage and ensure all of them are tightly secured to the leads. These clips are susceptible to a buildup of adhesive as they make frequent contact with the electrodes placed on patients. Use a non-abrasive cleaner, such as alcohol, to clean the affected clips. The paper test is a simple way to confirm the lead clip's integrity. Grab a piece of paper, in this case, a post-it note. Open up the clip and close it onto the paper as shown. Pull the paper, making sure the connection is held. If noise and artifacts persist, inspect the lead cable connection to the EKG. It is typically best to remove the connection and check the connector itself for damage. After reinstalling the cable, verify there is no physical damage to the wire sheathing of the lead cables. Open up the printer door and check to see if the paper has been installed correctly. Confirm the printer paper installed is the correct model for the EKG. Non-manufacturer approved paper will cause errors, such as misprinting or not printing at all. If the EKG is not powering on, it is best to verify all of the connections on the power cord are tight and undamaged. Often there is an indicator on the device itself or on the screen to indicate the EKG is properly plugged in. On some EKG models, such as the Welch Allen CP150, once the internal battery is completely dead, the machine will not work even when plugged into the wall. At that point, the battery will either require charging or replacement before use.